Hey y'all, it's Cowgirl Sierra, and I'm going to be reading The Basement Story. Okay? Let's go. Once upon a time, there was a boy, there was two girls named Jasandra and Michelle. They live in a very old house. In the basement of this house, it is very creepy. Jasandra and Michelle hardly ever go down into the basement. Unless they absolutely have to. And their siblings, Jesse, Marla, Michaela, and Gianna, have been creeped out by the basement. Jesse and Gianna are Jasandra's siblings, and Michaela and Marla are Michelle's siblings. Jasandra, Jesse, and G Gianna were getting ready to move out of the house. Michaela, Michelle, and Marla were going to stay in the house for a little while longer. While Jesse. Jasandra and Gianna were packing their stuff. They kept hearing noises from the basement. They didn't acknowledge it at first, but then the sounds kept getting louder. So Jasandra, Jesse, and, G and Gianna went down to the basement and investigated. M Michaela, Michelle, and Marla were at the store getting some stuff. Suddenly, the girls ran back upstairs because they saw a creepy-looking creature in the basement. The creature looked like Slender Man, but a little more thinner with snakes coming out of its arms, legs, and mouth, and the creature was a little shorter than Slender Man. Jasandra, Gianna, and Jesse sat at the kitchen table and didn't move a muscle until Michaela, Michelle, and Marla got back. Suddenly they got the literal literal they literally got the urge to move and packed all their things and left for their new house. They felt bad for Michaela, Michelle, and Marla because they still had to live in that house. At least they were thankful they got out of the house. Uh, about five seconds after Je Jessandra, Jesse, and Gianna left, Michaela, Michelle, and Marla pulled in the driveway. So Michelle called Jessandra and asked her why they left. So Jessandra told the story like she re rehearsed in her head. Jesse and Gianna were just riding along. After Jessandra hung up the phone, she pulled up to a gas station. Michelle, Michaela, and Marla were worried about Jesse, Jessandra, and Gianna. So Michaela, Michelle, and Marla decided to hop in their car and go look for them. They soon found them at the park. Michelle parked the car next to Jessandra's car. Marla, Michaela, and Michelle got out of the car and walked to Jesse, just Gianna and Jessandra. Hey, Michelle said. Oh, hey, y'all, Jesse said. Why are y'all here, Marla asked. Because we saw a horrifying creature in the basement, Gianna replied. Yeah, when, when I called Jessandra, she told us the story. I forgot, Michaela said. Yep, so we decided to come here, Jesse said. All right, I guess we'll stay here with you, Michelle said. That's okay, Jessandra replied. So Michaela, Michelle, and Marla sat down at the picnic table that Jessandra, Jesse, and Gianna were sitting at. They were all looking at the little pond that the park had. About an hour later, they went back to the house. When they pulled up in the driveway, the front door was wide open. Michaela, Michelle, and Marla were 100% sure that they shut and locked the door. None of them knew that Gianna was a police officer. So she ran in first. She knew where to go first, the basement. Jessandra and Jesse followed Gianna into the basement. Michaela investigated upstairs, Marla investigated downstairs, and Michelle invest investigated the house. When they all reunited in the living room, they were all empty-handed. Until they heard a noise coming from the basement. They all turned their heads to the basement door and were mortified because the creature was standing at the basement door. They all ran out of the, ha out of the house and into their own cars and headed to the local hotel. Luckily, they still had their clothes and essentials in the trunks of their cars. They stayed at the hotel for a few nights. Jesse, Gianna, and Jason G Gianna, Jesse, Jessandra, Marla, Michaela, and Michelle. The next day, Jesse and Desandra went down to the hotel restaurant to get breakfast. Michelle woke up and didn't see Desandra or Jesse in the room. 
So, Michelle called Jesse. Jesse didn't answer. So, she called Cassandra. She didn't answer either. So, Michelle wrote a note for Michaela, Marla, and Gianna saying that she would be that she was going to look for Cassandra and Jesse. After she wrote the note, she grabbed her phone and pistol and headed for the staircase. Michelle first went down to the lobby. Jesse and Cassandra were nowhere to be found. So Michelle went to the hotel restaurant. She found Jesse and Cassandra in the bathroom with tape over their mouths. She immediately ripped the tape off their mouths and asked them what they were doing. We decided to come down here to get some breakfast for all of us. We got a drink and left it at the bar and went to the fruit bar. When we came back, we took a drink of our coffee and we were knocked out. Then we woke up here in the bathroom, Jasandra said. Wow, I tried to call on both of you, but you didn't answer, Michelle said. Well, we had our phones on silent, Jesse replied. Well, let's go back up to the room, Michelle said. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea, Jesse said. So they walked out of the bathroom and up to their room. Michaela, Marla, and Gianna were sitting on their beds, wondering what was going on. So, Jasandra told the story like she had told Michelle. Gianna, Marla, and Michaela were spooked. After that, they all went to a local McDonald's for breakfast. They all got sausages, biscuits, and gravy. After they ate, they went, to ba they went back to the hotel. They all sat on their beds and, and were watching TV. Michelle heard noises coming from across the hall. Then they all heard the same noises that Michelle heard. But none of them dared to investigate, so they all dealt with it. Fast forward a few days, they packed up their stuff and headed back to the house. They jumped in their separate cars and headed back to the house. Michaela, Michelle, Marla, Jesse, Gianna, and Jasandra were a little scared to go back to the house because of the creature. But when they went in, they didn't see the creature again. So they were glad that they didn't have to see that terrifying creature. So they were all watching TV for a while. Cassandra ordered some pizza. When the pizza boy pulled up to the driveway, he was disturbed to see the creature sitting on the roof. He put the car, he put his car in reverse and left. But when Michaela, Michelle, Marla, Jesse, Gianna, and Cassandra ran outside to see why the pizza guy left, they were disturbed. They immediately ran back inside and locked the door. They made sure the back door was locked. It was, so they sat back down in the living room and watched TV. But fa fast forward a few hours, they were dragged into the woods and were never seen or s heard from again. So that is where that story ends, and I hope y'all enjoyed it, and Cowgirl Sierra is out.